Hello you fellow watch lovers out there and uh, welcome again uh, in the Netherlands and uh, I'm going to show you today one of my uh, recently acquired watches and I always enjoy making a video review because I feel that uh, a picture is nice and I love taking pictures of watches but uh, making a video gives a more real life uh, feeling about how a watch looks and how it, uh, how it works. Uh, today I want to show you the uh, Hamilton, the Hamilton X-Wind. Um, the Hamilton brand originates from the United States, uh, where in the good old days, in the Wild West days, trains were running from east to west, and uh, there was a lot of trouble with uh, clocks not being on time. So the Hamilton watch company from Pennsylvania, they uh, issued clocks to all the stations and, uh, and train people in the, in the US. That's where it uh, originates from. So Hamilton is still considered to be a U.S. brand. Uh, however, it's being uh, taken over now by the, uh, for quite a while already by the uh, Swatch Group. And, uh, but still, Hamilton has its own designs and uh, they make an awesome watch for, and, uh, with an awesome value for money. Now, the X-Wind line is a very popular brand within the uh, Hamilton uh, collection. I will pull this one up a little bit closer to the, to the lens and uh, show you the watch in more detail. The Hamilton, this one is a very rugged and robust watch that measures uh, 44 uh, millimeters in diameter. And as you can see, it has a, a lot of wrist presence if you slap it on because of the, the dial work and also the, the buttons and crowns and pushes you see on various sides. Uh, normally you would expect the crown and the pushes to be on the 3 o'clock side, but with the X-Wind models they all appear on the 9 o'clock side. However, the two crowns on the uh, 3 o'clock side, they are used, and forgive me, uh, I'm not a really a weather conditions expert, and I cannot go too deep into um, uh, how the calculations and the measurements work on these uh, x one models, but you can calculate various wind conditions and speeds and whatever possible with the help of these crowns and the bezels that are installed in this watch. However, I will show you how they operate. Uh, now there is uh, a crown at 4 o'clock, if I turn the crown at 4, I've unscrewed it before, you can see the inner bezel there shifting. Now there's also a crown at 12 o'clock, now if you look closely at the little yellow marker there, the little hole just about 12, and I move this, you can see some settings appear in the, in the little window there, it's hard to catch I'm, I'm, I'm sure. But that's how to use it. Now on the back, you can see a lot of engravings there with figures and lines and grades and whatever. But to be honest, I'm a watch lover and I'm not a, too much into mathematics. So I leave that for what it is. I can only tell you this watch tells more than time. On the 9 o'clock side, on this side, you can see uh, nicely polished pushers, a Hamilton branded logo on the crown and uh, you can see the rest of the case is very nicely brushed. Now the chrono works uh, as it should. When you hit button number, uh, this button there, you can see the big second hand starting to run smoothly alongside the dial and of course pushing it again will stop it and resetting perfectly back to the 12 marker. Now, this watch uh, is lesser seen than other x wine models because usually you see x wine with uh, silver sub-dials and uh, silver dials and, uh, but this one has a black dial with very nice uh, red accents. The numerals which you see are all applied on the dial. There's a nicely big enough date window and also a date display. And also the bezel runs, uh, moves very smoothly on this watch. However, it's uh, not registered, ratcheted, that's the right name for it. It has only uh, two spots where it actually clicks. That's on this marker. And if you turn it further, I believe there's a second marker that you can really feel. But there are only two clicks on this bezel. The leather strap is actually the only 
item on this watch where you can recognize a little bit of wear. Uh, the rest of the watch is uh, really scratch free. You can see it looks uh, very nice. Very nice, very nice brush finish on this Hamilton X Wind. Well, I'm sorry I cannot go any further into the uh, mathematics uh, on this watch. Uh, however, I hope you enjoyed my review. Um, it's, it's been great fun having this one. Uh, one more detail about this watch. The uh, crystal is a thick sapphire crystal. And you can see also that's a nice touch, the typical Hamilton uh, buckle there. Uh, with the Hamilton H to make sure it fits into the double row holes on the other end of the strap. Now the watch comes uh, is complete with the uh, outer box and also with the uh, all the warranty papers and the instruction manual and the instruction manual is quite a thick one because of all the studying you have to do to understand the functions of this watch. Well, I uh, hope you all enjoyed my review and uh, we'll see you again on the forum somewhere. Take care and thanks for watching.